Let's talk about Langchain today. We've been talking about AI, especially open AI for a while now. But there's also Langchain. What is Langchain? Langchain is like a framework that helps us to manage other AI um, like libraries. So like OpenAI, we have the Microsoft one and many of them like that. But just think of Langchain like React, think of it like um, Vue.js or any other library of uh, framework that you already know, but helps us to make things easier when using other languages. So React, Vue.js helps us to use JavaScript, um, HTML and CSS, makes it very easy for us. And that's what Langchain does um, for the AI community. So I'd like to introduce you to it. And Langchain, this is the documentation. Now, something to note about Langchain is that it's um, language specific, basically Python and JavaScript. And of course, I'm a JavaScript person, so I will always go for the JavaScript documentation. So if you check out uh, the link here, you notice that here has JS. Um, if you change this link to Python, uh, the content changes um, for you too. So you see it immediately swaps um, to the Python um, documentation. So you need to take note of this um, depending on the language you're using. But um, the principle is the same. What we want to do here is to see how we can get started with Langchain. And of course, it has the quick start guide here where you know you can get started quickly. But you know, I want to also make it a, a lot easier for you. And that's why I'm making this video so that um, you see how I do it and you don't have to go through the pain of um, reading through the documentation like uh, you know I had to do, you know, stuff like that. So um, that's the basic um, introduction. Langchain also helps you to create um, personal bots whereby you can feed in your own personal information. Um, many other things that you can do, you can also access the web uh, from Langchain in real time, not just um, what has been fed to, to the bot. Uh, I'll be using OpenAI to demonstrate what I want to do. But like I said, Langchain provides uh, an um, input or like a door for you to manage every other um, AI uh, libraries or AI companies that you have seen all over, um, all over the time. So what it means is, once you learn Langchain and understand the principle for one AI library like OpenAI, you can then do it for, use the same principle for other uh, libraries that you already know. So this is just like an open um, or an easy way to understand what we are using Langchain for, right? So we'll just jump into the quick start guide and um, um, we'll do a bunch of installation right away. So let me move this away from here, um, put it around here. All right. Okay, let me, let me bring it down here. And you know, the first thing we need to do is to make some installation. So one thing we'll be installing is Langchain. We also need to install Langchain OpenAI and then we need to install um, the .env um, for our environment variable. So um, let me open this and then let me clear this up. Uh, I was making some tests around here. And then let me clear this up. I've made some of this installation already, but just to make sure you see it. So what we're doing here is npm install .env Langchain and then at Langchain slash OpenAI. So just hit enter and this installation will be done. Then you should have your node, node modules on the side here. So you give it a moment um, for that to, to take place while I show you around the documentation. So once you come around here, um, you you will see the second installation that you're supposed to make, but we're already making all that in one line. Then the next thing is for you to set up the OpenAI uh, key. So please, you need to navigate to OpenAI and that will be on platform platform.openai and then you get um, the API key just in case you've not used OpenAI at all before I have a few tutorials on how to create a chatbot on OpenAI how to generate images with OpenAI and all of that so you just come to the side here and check out the API keys and then um, you have access to all your keys that um, you must have created stuff like that so it's just platform.openai you know dot com slash API key so just keep that in mind and then of course our installation here is done so the first thing we want to do is to import um, the uh, want to import the .env and the config down here. All right. So why we are importing this is for us to be able to use um, the details what we have in our .env file. I wouldn't be opening that so that you don't see my key. <laughs> all right. So now that we we've imported this, we now have access to everything inside of our .env file. Now we can choose to either um, First of all, import. Let's make sure we import the chat open AI on top of here. Now, let me expand this so that you'll be seeing what I'm doing. And let me close this a little bit more. All right. All right. After importing the chat open AI, now this gives us access to managing open AI from Langchain. All right. Now, the next thing is for us to set up um, the open AI here. And that requires that we either set up with an API key like this. Or we just 
set it up without an API key. Now, as long as we have already imported our .env file up here, we don't have to set it up anymore inside of here because we already set it up like this. So make sure you follow this directive, open AI key like this inside of your .env file. And then you can do what I'm doing here. Just initialize the chat model like this. Now, once you initialize the chat model like this, you are all set. And what you now need to do is to do a const result equal to now await and we now do chat model dot invoke like so and then what you are invoking is a message you want to pass to the bot so let's say hello all right so once you say hello and then save it please make sure you save it and then we do node index and hit enter we're now in the terminal hit enter you should now get the response that you should have gotten if you had done this on OpenAI and written all the code you needed. So let's just give it a second. It's going to populate here right away. Now, why I'm doing this is, okay, I think I missed something. This is not going to work. So let's make sure we show this in the console. <laughs> all right, so let's show our result in the console. Save it. And then let's try this again. So let's click the terminal and then let's invoke it. I was wondering why it was taking longer. Now we have the answer we are looking for. Now look at here, you now have content. So this means that this is working. Well, what is interesting is the fact that we didn't write to we, we didn't have to write so many code like we would have if we were um, doing this on OpenAI, right? So for for the text generation in OpenAI, where do we have it? And okay, this is it. And then you can check check out how you have done it here in OpenAI and compare it to what we have just done here in Langchain. But this is how you would do it if you wanted to do it um, on Langchain. But beyond this. We, we can still specify um, the exact thing we need, and that is the content. So we can do a dot .content, save it, let's clear this, and then let's do the same thing again. And then you notice that we now have access to the content down here, which is, hi there, how can I assist you today? But we do not want to go down this route. We want to use a special feature that um, Langchain provides for us, and that is the um, string parser. So if you go down a little bit, you see the string parser here. So let's get it. Uh, okay, let's get it like this. Let's make sure we take the whole line. So copy it and then import it at the top here. Now after importing it, we now have access to it. So what we can do is to create a new instance of it at the top, just below um, the chat model we've created. And then what we now do is to pipe it or to merge it with the chat model that we were already working on. Right. So for us to do that, we will now need to do chat model dot pipe, and then open and close braces like this and then we'll put in the output parser like so and still do the same invocation notice that this time around we're not having we're not um, assessing the content here but the results now will be very well streamlined because we are using this um, output parser which uh, stringifies what we are doing so just watch out and you see the answer you get now we didn't have to start specifying that we needed the content it already know that we needed the content because we are using this uh, string out um string output parser sorry now one more thing I would like to show you is how to set up prompt here. If we were using um, OpenAI, we usually start by setting up prompt, like I did in my previous tutorials. But how do we set up prompt here? Um, so uh, let's say you want to specify what exactly you want the bot to do, and not just be a generic bot, because at this point, it does just anything. If you ask it any question, it answers. But we want to specify what we want. So for this, we use what we call the chat prompt, um, the chat prompt template, all right? so. In the same way, we will import it like so. All right, so let's copy this. Let's import it at the top here. So chat prompt uh, templates. We are importing this from at Langchain slash call slash prompt. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is to set up a prompt. Let me make sure I type it out so that you can follow along. So const prompt. All right. Equal to. Now what we are doing here is chat temp prompt template dot from messages and then we now create this um array inside of it just like you see but here inside of this array we create other arrays and the first array we want to create here is a system so inside of the array there'll be two uh, indexes so one is a system and then this is just like um a key value pair kind of thing but here we are telling the system that you you are a um say world class documentation assistant now we want to make sure that it only answers questions um on documentation so we we tell it only 
So we, the more prompts you add, the more specific your, your chatbot becomes. So we say only, um, do not answer. Okay, do not answer any other questions. Aside on documentation. All right. So now we've we've set that up, and um, the next thing we want to do is now set up um, where the user can put uh, you know an input. So we say this time around user, and then the second index would be what we intend to get from the user, which is uh, an input. Now you need to note that this can be anything, but we are specifying it as inputs. Um, that actually makes sense. Anything you are specifying here is a variable because it's inside of a curly braces. All right. So now this changes how we will now assess the results. So let's um, clean this up and then do this again. So this time around, we we'll start with the prompt and then say dot pipe. And then inside of the pipe, we now say chat model. And then we now say dot pipe again. And then this time around, we are using the output parser. Then we now do a dot invoke. You know, to make this um, not too long, let's um, let's leave it like this and come down. So let's let's call this chain instead. So we'll call this chains in um, line chain, and then let's now get the results proper. So results equal to await. So chain dot invoke, and then inside of these braces. We set up a, an object and say input because we are expecting an input from the user. So input and then let's say hello. All right. And now that we've done this, let's make sure everything looks good and save it. And then let's call on this file again and say node index. So now that we say node index, it's now asking us, how can I assist you today with documentation? It's no longer just a generic, a generic how can I assist you, but how can I assist you with documentation? And this is a basic introduction to how you use um, Langchain. We'll be learning a lot more about um, Langchain in the couple of weeks that will follow. I'll be teaching a, a, a lot on how to make a conversation with the bot, how to retrieve um, data from your own um, uh, data, uh, or how to retrieve information from your own data, and many stuff like that. So if you want to get all this information and many more, please subscribe to my channel, and um, you'll learn everything that um, Open AI and then Langchain has in store for you. And that is it for this tutorial. I will see you in my next one.